As I looked over the list of baseball releases we have here in December, Topps Chrome Black, Topps Chrome Sapphire, Topps Update Chrome, uh, Topps Five Star Baseball, Panini Optic Choice, and so on and so forth, I looked and I saw one glaring omission and I thought to myself, you know what we really need this December? We really need a brand new baseball product from Panini. And Panini said, I'm on my bus break, okay? And under the tree this year, we have 2022 Panini Capstone Baseball. This is our one of an early look of a first off the line box. Another baseball here in December? Why not? Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? RGL in the house coming at you. I hope that your holidays were swell. I hope you got to spend some time with your friends, your family, maybe some time off of work. If you didn't, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, and that's really all I got. But I hope that you had a good weekend. I hope it wasn't too cold. It is freezing here in the Pacific Northwest. I can't feel my fingers anymore. I lied. They're, they're, they're numb. Uh, we had pretty much a sheet of ice all throughout the holiday, and uh, it is continuing on into this week. It is really cold. It got down to like 12 degrees, which is uh, very, very cold. Now, I know for those of you who are up in Buffalo or, you know, in the Midwest or wherever, I know 12 degrees is like nothing for y'all. For here, it is very cold. Typically, we don't get below like 20 or 30, and it was frozen. Hopefully today, though... A box of 2022 Panini Capstone Baseball is going to heat us up. This is a brand new product. Yes, that's right. Panini looked at all of their baseball releases and said, I think we can fit one more in before the end of 2022. And even though we don't have some of the, the key products, even though Flawless is going to come be coming to us in 2023, same with National Treasures, we got Capstone. And this one is an interesting release. Uh, now, when I saw this product, I think I first saw it in August, and what I was hoping that this product would be would be like a seven-card box with two autos, because um, we really need something like that from Panini, you know, like maybe a top five-star equivalent, or just one of those products where they're, you know, really nice cards on a good quality stock. But no, Panini said, uh, nope, we're going to do a 96-card box, everything on 55-point stock. You're going to get two autos and two memorabilia per. This is a very heavy box. Uh, we're going to get 20 parallels per box on average and an ultra-rare blue steel and graffiti inserts. Um, so this is a first-off-the-line edition. We're also going to get two exclusive first-off-the-line parallels. I think this product either, either releases on Wednesday or Friday of this week. Um, so this is an early look. They were sold at Dutch auction. I believe they floored at $125. I only grabbed four boxes um, because I do have a couple of cases of hobby on the way. Um, so I only grabbed four boxes. I didn't want to go with the full case. And uh, yeah, most Panini baseball lately has been hitting that floor price. Um, so you don't have to buy in too high. So we are looking at about $145. I did get rush shipping on this one. So I think we're looking at like $145 here. Looking for two autos and two memorabilia. Of course, this rookie class is great. Julio Rodriguez, of course, being my main uh, desire today. A Julio auto would be great. But hey, we'll settle for Tatis. We'll settle for uh, Tatis on the cover. We'll settle for Wander, I should say. We'll settle for Bobby Witt Jr., Spencer Torkelson, and Spencer Strider. Some of the other really, really good rookies in the set. For those of you who want to take a look on the back and see what we are looking for, I see Big Bang. Now, that is from Origins. Uh, that is a case hit from Origins. I wonder what it looks like in here. Um, 101's obviously in. This is Hobby. I don't think there's going to be a retail component, but you never know. Panini has done crazier things in this hobby. Ah, my eyes! My eyes! Uh, 100 base cards, 100 luxury sweet cards, so a 200 card set. Four hits total coming in at around 100 and I want to say $125 a box later this week. If you are on the fence about grabbing one, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the cards and see if you like them or not and see see if we like them see if this set warrants a place on uh warrants a place in the uh in the rotation uh right off the grip i'm seeing that this is zenith um so if you're familiar with zenith football this is literally zenith baseball they might as well have called it zenith baseball uh camera does not like that does not like that shiny gloss on there does not like it at all although that is kind of what the card looks like in real life just uh, that weird zenith that weird gloss yeah, I'm not sure about these cards. I like the 55-point stock. Now, don't get me wrong. I really like that 55-point stock on these. 
But that's one of the things that I've never really cared about with Zenith is just that that rainbowy kind of. You guys see what I'm talking about right there? Uh, that is going to be a red parallel of Glen Auto. Those are not numbered. Here's Jazz Chisholm to 49. That is uh, that's like a Dufex. Do they call that like a Dufex? Something like that. Of Austin Riley, kind of a throwback to some of the 90s parallels. Uh, Brandon Nimmo, and is it, I hope this is an auto. Ah, that is going to be a crest, man. That's a good looking card, though. Now I will say the 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 inserts and the and the cards. Ooh, you know what? It is a good looking card if it didn't have all that damage on that surface. No, that's a lot of damage. If it didn't have all that damage on that surface, that's Aaron Judge right there. But man, that one's all damaged up. Yeah, that's like a Dufex surface. It's, I like those a lot better than I liked uh, the base cards. I'm not a fan of the base cards of this product. But man, some of those inserts and some of the other cards look really, really cool. Uh, Luis uh, Urias right there. Joe Ryan. Reese Near. Anthony Rizzo. There's going to be a red rookie of Alec Thomas. Got Matt Manning, a rookie of Dufex right there. I, I assume it's Dufex. I... I guess we can look at the box and try and figure out what that is. Um, base. So we have red, gold, hollow, artist proofs, uh, platinums. I'm looking. I don't quite know. Again, this is a brand new product. Not much information out on it. So I am not 100% sure what they're calling the, the surface, this parallel, but I like it. I can tell you I like this one a whole lot more than those base cards. Uh, we've got Pablo Lopez on the gold. And that's going to be a velo of Justin Verlander. Yeah, pretty much everything but the base card I like. Um, this cassette kind of reminds me of Zenith football. Or even, I would say the cardstock reminds me a little bit of Recon Basketball. Just on that premium 55-point stock. Feels good to rip a box. Yeah, these base cards do absolutely nothing for me, though. Uh, we have Rodolfo Castro going to be on the red. Gold is going to be Rowdy Telez. Uh, we have another, or this might be a first off the line exclusive. No, no, no. Uh, we have another one of Kyle Hendricks. There's going to be Miggy on the red. And then that is going to be a new age of Cedric Mullins. Yeah, great looking cards. Reminds me of Zenith. Reminds me of Recon, a little mix of the two. Um, so I like that they decided to go with a thicker card stock. Um, yeah, I like it. I just, these base cards do are just horrible in my opinion. I've never, this is what, oof, wow. Wow, look at that. Nice little damage. PSA 10 right out of the, right out of the pack right there. Uh, Marcelo Zuno. We have Kyle Tucker on the red. MJ Melendez and Angel Zerpa. Something back here. We have another new age. That is going to be a rookie of Seiya Suzuki. Yeah, you can kind of tell as, as I continue to talk about what this set reminds me of. Because, again, it is a brand new set. Some of this right here, some of this background definitely has recon recon basketball vibes. I, I believe one of the case hits is called uh, Blue Steel, so maybe that also looks similar. I believe we might have a memor and auto in here. There's a rookie of Seiya Suzuki, uh, Mike Bowman, Jose Siri. We have Trey Mancini on the red. First hit of the box is going to be Mike Bowman. Uh, going to be a mem. Player worn materials, and that is a sharp looking mem, though. I will give them that. Almost kind of remind. Oof, I, I keep saying what, what these cards remind me of. Um, and I was just about to say that it kind of reminds me of the Deep Space parallel from Spectra, the case hit Deep Space from last year. Just a little bit, not, not entirely there, but I like that. You got the outer space vibe right there on just a basic mem, so it does improve the. Prove the desirability there. Wander Franco right there. We'll take that for sure. We have Brendan Donovan. And then a Deja Vu. That is Harmon Killebrew and Pete Alonzo. So kind of a cool uh, kind of a cool insert design right there. Got a Deja Vu. I like the double the double portrait. Although, I, I they should have kept them the same size. That, that would be my only complaint there. It is weird seeing Tiny Pete with big, with big uh, Harmon right there. Uh, Wander Franco right there, our first good rookie of the box. We'll set that there with the hits and keep it on rolling today. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good holidays. And uh, we are we have just a week left before the new year. So new year, uh, same hobby though. <laughs> uh, we still have plenty of 2022 products on the horizon. So uh, to us, because we're about to turn the calendar, does not mean we're about to turn the calendar year on the hobby. 
uh, Shohei Otani right there. There's Ryan Pep Pepio. Uh, Videl Brujan on the red. Uh, Corey Seager. We have Corey Seager again. That is going to be one of our first off the line exclusive parallels at number 18. Uh, we have a big bang of Pete Alonso. Now, I'm going to assume that this is not a case hit just because um, it was so low. And also on the side, it says ultra rare graffiti and blue steel. Um, so I'm going to assume that's not a case hit. But it is a cool looking card. I will give them that. I think they did a really, really good job on some of the insert designs and actually put some thought process into this set. They didn't just slap it together. Uh, and then Tatis and A-Rod on the Deja Vu. That's A-Rod. That's, uh, I believe that's Mariner's A-Rod right there. Yeah, Seattle. So, big bang of uh, Pete Alonzo. I like that one. Good looking card. And then our big fan of Kyle Seeger. Not so much Corey Seeger. Although he is off the Dodgers now. So, that, that's definitely a plus. But now he's a division rival. He's with the Texas Rangers. So. I respect his game, but I've just, uh, you know, never been a fan. Not a fan of the Dodgers. Giants fan here. Uh, Bobby Witt, rookie. We'll take that. Uh, Romy Gonzalez. We have a blue, or I read with a little bit of damage. That is Joan Aiden, and we do have a hit coming on up. Uh, Lucas Giolito. I believe this is going to be another mem. I like these. This kind of reminds me of one of the inserts in 2019 Optic. I believe it was Peak Performers. So I think that this design is a little bit uh, definitely recycled. Definitely a recycled design from that 2019 Peak Performers uh, with the Fernando Tatis rookie card in that set. Uh, Peak Performers, Lucas Giolito, man, it reminded me how cold it is out there with all that snow on that card. I don't need to be reminded how cold it is here in the Pacific Northwest because it's frozen. Uh, we have Ian Happ, Giancarlo on the red, and that is going to be a summit of Jose Ramirez. So clearly sticking with the mountain theme, um, sticking with the mountain theme for sure. So we have a summit and a Peak Performers. <laughs> We've reached the top of the mountain right now on these. Will you stop? Uh, we'll keep it on going. We haven't seen either of our two autos today, so we're still looking for two autos today. I want to thank you for joining me here on a Monday. And, uh, yeah, it is going to be a fun week because we are doing some classics football tomorrow. We have a box of H2 and a box of the Premium Edition. So tomorrow we'll be talking about each, each one of those. Uh, Glenn Otto, Alec Thomas. We have Otto Lopez. That's going to be our other first off the line exclusive, and that is going to be Ryan Zimmerman to 19. Uh, we have Nick Allen. Brandon Marsh is going to be a gold. Non numbered on those golds. And another new age that is going to be Brian Hayes. So Zimmerman is our second first off the line exclusive. And this is why I did not go into crazy on the first off the line box myself. And I was telling people to just wait for hobby. Because the only difference between a first off the line box and a hobby box is these two parallels right right here, um, and I believe one of these might actually I I I want to say now that now that we're going through the box, they might actually call this the luxury suite. I think if we turn it over on the back, you can see this card is number to 180 or card number 184 in the set. This card is number 59 in the set. So I believe if we turn it over on the back, we're learning together. Uh, we have 100 base cards and 100 luxury suite cards. So I believe that this design, this Dufax design that I talked about, uh, Dufax uh, uh, Surface, I believe that these are the uh, luxury suite, and I believe that these are the standard base. Not that there's a difference because they're all base cards, but the more you know. I was wondering why we were getting them at just a completely, it seemed like a totally random clip, and that that's why. Our first auto in the box is right here. We have Rodolfo Castro, Kyle Tucker. Trey Mancini, Jesse Winker, and our first auto is going to be Daniel Lynch, Peak Performers Auto. Uh, that's going to be an RPA, uh, White Paper Napkin, of course, but a Peak Performers. And uh, one of the one of the big trolls this year in Panini Baseball has there has been just a ton of Kansas City Royals rookies. Daniel Lynch, Angel Zerpa, uh, John Heasley. The one that you really want is Bobby Witt Jr., uh, peak, uh, peak rookie jersey auto of Daniel Lynch is one of our hits. Uh, we have Ha Sung Kim, Max Muncy on the red, and then Joan Aiden on the velo. Down to three packs left today. Feels like you get a pretty decent bang for your buck, I will say. This is a pretty good, pretty good rip for 125 bucks, getting two autos, getting two mems. Uh, yeah, definitely. In my opinion, uh, you know, if you if Panini baseball isn't your thing, and we've talked about this plenty, uh, don't buy it. But if it is, 
Uh, I like this one, you know? Whether or not the market will have a lot of value on these cards, I'm not 100% sure. It is a new set. Collectors are finicky. Um, but I think that the top rookies will probably do pretty well. O'Neal Cruz right there. Good rookie on the red. Uh, Hans Kraus, AJ Alexi. And we've got another Big Bang. So that is Salvador Perez right there on the Big Bang. So we've got two packs left. We have not seen J-Rod and we have not seen Wander yet. I would love to see even just a J-Rod rookie. Just a base rookie, you know. Just something to add to the PC from this box. I think our second auto is here so let's go ahead and save that pack for last let's go ahead and sweat that auto out last uh taylor rogers we have bregman elio lopez jeremy pena rookie right there decent uh taylor rogers nick ladolo and tyler o'neill we have a new age there we go wanda franco on the new age sharp looking card just good looking cards all right final pack of the day let's go behind we have another Deja Vu. That is going to be Luis Robert and Ricky Henderson. It's an interesting Deja Vu. I know I know Lou Bob does steal some bases, but comparing him to the greatest base steal of all, stealer of all time, not, not so sure. O'Neal Cruz, rookie. We have Greg Diekman. Greg Diekman again. I'm seeing double. Otto is going to be a, a, probably our best card in the box. That is a Stephen Kwan Capstones. Uh, 16 of 99. Sticker auto, unfortunately, right there. But, hey, we will still take it. He was a pretty good rookie this year. Hit over 300. I'll buy He does not have a ton of power. Um, so, some shades of Ichiro, actually, uh, with Stephen Kwan. You know, has a really good eye for the ball, but doesn't hit for power very often. Or at all. I think he had one home run or something like that this year. Uh, Stephen Kwan is our second auto in the box. We're going to end today with Curtis Terry and Francisco Lindor on the red. Um, so... Overall, my thoughts, you know, you do get 96 cards. This is what, like, 90, 80 of them look like. They're all in that 55-point stock, so you get a whole lot of bulk. I'm not a fan of the base set or the, the base cards. The Luxury Suite cards look much better. Uh, in terms of hits today, let's take a look at some of the better cards in today's box. Steven Kwan, probably our best card. We did have a Wander rookie and an O'Neal Cruz rookie. Uh, we Our other auto was Daniel Lynch. Uh, we had Seeger and Zimmerman on our first off the line exclusives. A Bobby Witt rookie. Uh, our mems were Lucas Giolito. And then we had another Wander. And then our other one was Mike Bowman. So I like this set. I will say, you know, it is cheap. And then also this crest. Or the only crest we saw of Judge. But unfortunately, it did have some damage to it. Um, yeah, I like this set. I do think if I was designing this set, if I was making the decision... I don't know if we necessarily need more sets right now. I think Panini needs to focus on doing a better job with the sets that they currently have. I would not have minded seeing this product, at least parts of this product, in Chronicles Baseball in a first year. See how the market does. If they like it, then bring it in next year as its own set. We've seen them do that with Chronicles in the past. Use it to test out other sets. Um, yeah, I don't think we necessarily needed this one right now. We needed this one in February and March when we were kind of starved for baseball earlier this year when we only had like Diamond Kings and Donruss. Would have been great in that release window, but in this release window that is so crowded with so many tops releases and so many really, really good releases still to come, National Treasures and Flawless Baseball being two of them, I just, I, I feel like this one isn't quite necessary. It's a good product. Uh, we'll definitely be doing it in our group breaks, and I would definitely encourage, if you like the look of the cards today, to grab a box and rip a box for yourself because it's cheap enough to where you cannot get hurt at $125 a box, two autos, and two mems. But I just I just feel like this is uh, just another product that's just going to end up kind of being there. That's going to do it for me. Let me know your thoughts on the product. Do you like the look of it? Did you buy any first off the line? Are you going to be getting any hobby later this week? That is going to do it for me. Take care, stay safe, happy holidays, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.